welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a story time for you guys and it is about um, a creepy man approaching me and my friend in McDonald's. Yeah. So stay tuned, grab yourself a drink, grab yourself a snack and let's get started into the video. Okay, so um, before me and my friend went to McDonald's, we left college uh, around, because we had like, a two hour break. So we go to McDonald's and have lunch there and come back. Easy, right? No. Um, so we left college at around 11 o'clock and we got to McDonald's at around, let's say 11.30 maybe. So we went up to the till, got our food, everything was fine. That was perfect. Went all smoothly. Great. Um, my friend got her food and we sat down in like a little booth. It's like a booth area. Um, you'll know if you go to McDonald's you have them little like booth table things. That is where we sat. And um, I had to wait for my food. It took about three or four minutes. That's what the lady said. So I sat with my friend and we waited for my food. Um, so um, I was waiting for my food. Three minutes went by and I thought, okay, I'm going to go up to the desk and see if she's finished um, doing my food. I asked um, the um, person that worked there and she said, I said like, oh, I'm here to like, I'm waiting for my food. And she goes, okay, it won't be long. But the way she said it was like rude, like she didn't care, like she didn't really help me at all, she didn't really say anything. She was like, oh, it's come in. I was like, okay, thank you. Like the way she said it was just rude. So I was just like, okay. But anyway, so I got my food. This is where it starts getting a bit weird. So, oh my God. This had to happen to me and my friend, didn't it? By the way, my friend, um, my friend's name is called Portia if you're wondering um but yeah this had to happen to me and my friend so i got my food um everything was fine with it and i then go and turn round so literally i got my food and i turn around and um there's like a man standing near my friend so i'm like okay weird because it's only me and my, my friend there's nobody else with us so he's standing near my friend and I start walking to him and I, th and I see him hand her a piece of paper. So I'm thinking that he's promoting his restaurant or he's promoting some sort of restaurant. Like come to blah 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 for like pizza or whatever. So I was like okay, it's fine. So yeah, I keep walking over and um, he's just standing there. He's not doing anything, he's not doing anything, he's not saying nothing. He's just standing there. And I remember he gave her a piece of paper. So I'm like, okay, weird. Because they normally have like a little... They don't have pieces of paper, do you know what I mean? So I'm like, okay, I walk over there even more. Um, I then go to sit down. And he hands me a piece of paper. Like a book. Not a book, but like a paper. And it's folded in half. So I'm like, okay, this is not... He's not promoting the pizza. He's doing something else. So, um, when all this is happening, literally, nobody is saying anything, nobody's coming over to help us, the, the workers are not doing nothing. So I'm like, okay, it's just me, it's going to be me and Portia, me and my friend. <laughs> Portia is literally, she's opposite me, and she is, <laughs> she's just sitting there, literally, not giving this man any eye contact whatsoever she's just sitting here like this like like this but with no smiling i'm just like Portia, like are you gonna say anything or am i like what do we do so yeah she's just sitting here with her head down and to be honest i wanted to do that too but he's standing there and it's awkward and it's uncomfortable literally i don't want someone standing over me do you know what i mean so i'm just like okay like what does he want so i read a bit of his notes and it's just like um need some money for my two kids or something like that it has two kids on it so i'm like okay this is either a scam or this is for real um i sort of thought this was a scam one because um he was in pretty much nearly expensive clothes like he was wearing pretty much new shoes jeans t-shirt literally 
everything about him didn't look like he had money problems. So I was just like, okay, that's the first warning. The second warning is that he had the papers that he gave us was they were printed out. So he didn't write them all handed out. And by the way, he had like 50 of these. Like literally he had loads of these. Um, he had like a whole stack, literally. So I'm like, okay, if for you to for you to get these papers that have the writing on, you would have to print them out because the way they were on the paper, they were printed. And I'm a media student, so I know what I know if something's printed or not because I literally print stuff every single day. So I'm like, okay, you don't have enough money, but yet you have money to print out pieces of paper to hand to us. Like what? So I'm like, okay, that's the second warning. The third warning is that he's been very, like, I can't even pronounce it. It's just, like, very, like, weird. Like, I, don't, I didn't even want to say anything because it was so, like, awkward. Really, really awkward for me and my friend. My friend was just, like, had her head down in her food. Like, she didn't want to talk at all. I, I could tell that she was awkward and so was I. So I was just like, okay, this has to, he has to go now. Like, I want to eat my food. I don't want to get cold. So I'm like, okay, no, sorry, thank you, no, sorry. And he's like, oh, please, please, um, my, for my two kids. And I'm like, no, sorry, um, we don't have any money, sorry. Because when we got McDonald's, we had the vouchers. We had the McDonald's vouchers for one ninety nine, And we, um, so yeah, we only had the vouchers. Like, when, like do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to go to McDonald's for to buy a normal price of the food would you know what i mean i'm that sort of person that i'll go to the the place if there's a voucher or i'll go if there's like an app to have money off do you know so i'm like um no sorry um sorry no but he didn't take no for an answer like literally at all so i'm like okay i need to think because my friend is literally not doing nothing she's like literally not that she's not saying anything so i'm just like okay like i need to like get this man to move on because literally he's making us feel like so uncomfortable so i say so i say portia can you hand me that piece of paper so she hands me the piece of paper i get mine and i give it to him i'm like no sorry thank you but no and he's like he's like oh 50p please 50p that's it no sorry i don't have 50p and he and i'm like sorry like can you go now please i didn't say that but like i was just like okay can you go literally that's what i was thinking in my head but i'm like i don't want to be rude and i was gonna say like oh well how'd you have all this money how'd you have this money to print out this stuff but i didn't say that because that was nice but yeah so i was like no sorry like bye like go away um and finally after like five minutes of him just like standing there literally doing nothing for him like he was literally with he was literally standing right near us for about i'll say five or six minutes and that was me saying no 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 so i was just like okay fine and he's going my friend looked at me and she was like oh my god what the hell just happened i'm like i know like what just happened we are literally like we were speechless at this point we were literally absolutely speechless i mean i was speechless i was just like that has never happened to me in my life and he had to choose two people me and my friend to come up i was like how did he pick us why did he pick us why literally because i me my friend portia she thought that he was just walking past but he stopped so but yeah he walked towards the door and he um i, wa I watched him go obviously because i don't want him coming up to get us again and like i don't know seeing or something or whatever um so i watched him go and he approached this other man and this man didn't even give him one ints one ounce one ounce ints <laughs> one ounce of um eye contact at all this man literally didn't even give him the single eye contact at all he was just looking at his phone like i don't want your paper bye because the way he was was just like he gave a piece of paper and he was just standing there like quiet he was just like <whistles> and we were like are you gonna speak you're gonna tell us what you're here for so yeah that is what happened to me when i had my two hour break um that has literally never happened to me before me and my friend were literally talking about it the whole entire day because we were so like 
speechless and so like oh my god why did that have to happen to us like do you know what i mean i don't even know but i was just speechless i couldn't believe that happened to us but it did but everything's okay we're fine he didn't take anything so we're good so yeah but that is the story time um if you want any more story times i definitely have a lot more story times that i can tell you guys and they are shocking um but yeah if you have any like suggestions or like any video ideas then please let me know in the comments down below because i would love to do them for you guys i don't mind at all please like this video if you want to and subscribe if you want to it's totally up to you guys but um yeah hope you enjoyed the story time and hopefully there'll be some more <laughs> bye